Hola! What's up everyone? With this being Houston 2013 All-Star Weekend, I want to tell you how you could become or can become an All-Star in the game of life. It is very simple. Simple, more simple than you really think it is. Um, just like when the All-Star game, I'm not talking about the starting five, which is the popularity contest. You know, LeBron James, Chris Paul, Kobe Bryant, Carmelo Anthony, so on and so forth. I'm talking about the reserves. And the reason why the reserves were chosen is because of the season that they may be having or are having at the current time. Maybe it's like Joe Kim Noah, who, who's playing solid defense and all-around team player. Someone like that. Kevin Garnett, who's always solid year in and year out, putting up maybe 18 and 10, so on and so forth. These guys are selected by the coaches, the NBA, or the players around the league as the Pro Bowl is in the NFL, the replacement. So that's what I'm talking about, how you can be an all-star in life. And it's very simple. Number one characteristic that you must have is what's called servant leadership, okay? A servant leader never pursues a mission at the expense of their people. Rather, a servant leader earns the loyalty and best efforts of their people by serving the interests and investing in the development of those they lead. Okay, you probably have to rewind to figure that out, but you're saying, all right, well, you saying that, but give me an example of a servant leader because I've never seen one. Well, sure you've seen one, okay? Jesus Christ was a servant leader. Period, point blank. He was the king of kings, lords of all lords, who came down from heaven on his throne to come to serve as a mere man, a mere mortal, a mere mortal, and give back and serve the needs of his people, the people that he had compassion on, the people that he knew that he had to go to the cross and save by dying on the cross for them. So they would have life eternal after. So he was a true servant leader. If you go read up on all his works during the 33 years of his life, particularly the last three years of his ministry, you will see the characteristics that he displayed that was a true servant leader. Also, to be an uh, all-star in the game of life, you have to have great character. You don't have to be excellent. You don't have to be perfect. But you have to have good character. You have to do what you say, mean what you say, and say what you're going to do, and all that good stuff. Now, that's sometimes harder than people actually think it is. But if you just live and adopt that behavior, then it can be uh, accomplished very easily. Now, sometimes that's going to mean that you're going to have to take a stand on some things that are widely accepted by this generation, by the people in this life, uh, in this world today. Whether that be, because I say that because, just because it's legal doesn't make it right. Okay? Now let me explain. I'll give you two examples. Gay marriage. Hmm? Just because it's legal, and somebody said it's legal, and the laws have now voted legal, doesn't make it right. Uh, smoking marijuana in Colorado. Just because it's legal, and I don't care about you weed heads being mad, just because it's legal, doesn't mean it's right. Don't give me that crap that it comes from the earth and all that mess. You're a liar, okay? Period, point blank. Now that's going to make uh, you unpopular with some people, but who gives a damn about those people? You're going to have to stand up for what you believe in, and a true leader is going to do that and not cater to the masses or conform to the status quo, okay? He's going to stand up for what he believes in, and like I said, oftentimes it's going to make him or her very unpopular with the masses, but you know what? Sometimes you have to make the unpopular decision as a servant leader. So I just want to give you guys just a couple examples. I think you guys are all capable of being all-stars in life. Obviously, I want you to live up and reach your full potential, walk in and on purpose, and that's how we get by in life. Now, I know what you're thinking. You say, hey, man, doesn't he have his hat on back with that tag up there? Stop worrying about my hat and listen to the message I'm telling you. I know what you're thinking. Oh, he shaved his beard. Don't worry about the beard. Fear the beard. It's coming back, okay? But just basically, man, I want you guys to be uh, leaders in everything you do in any way possible, man. Get better each and every day as much as you can. And just like those men who will take the court this Sunday for the All-Star Game in Houston, Texas, and Toyota Center, you too can be an All-Star, okay? So uh, you guys take care of yourself, love yourself, and each other. I love you. Bridget Lynn's baby boy, Darren C. Clifton, live from Orange, Texas. Never know where that is? Go down I-10. I'll let me. All right? You guys be safe. Take care.